Mountain Lake is within Giles County, located in southwestern Virginia. It has been a resort for the last 150 years and continues to operate under the Mary Moody Endowment. It is home to several field stations that run biological and geological research. However, this area is much better known for the 1987 film, Dirty Dancing. Mountain Lake is also known locally for the many scenic hiking trips. Mountain Lake lies on the crest of a northeasterly plunging anticline and consists of four major rock formations. The most prevalent of these is the Tuscarora Sandstone. This boulder right here is made of Tuscarora Sandstone, a clean, fairly well-sorted sandstone that was deposited in a deltaic environment. Mountain Lake was formed when a natural stream valley between two mountains became dammed from a landslide of this Tuscarora Sandstone. This was most likely triggered due to a seismic event. As the landslide progresses, the head scarp moves away from the lake to its present position today. Continuing movement of the head scarp has caused these trees to show evidence of creep. It tilts with the earth and then corrects itself to follow the sun, causing this curvature in the trunk of the tree. Similar events are the cause of another one of this area's oddities, the rock city known as the Garden of the Gods. Where, where we are right now, we're in uh, a rock city, that's the geomorphic term, and locally this one is referred to as a Garden of the Gods. And when we are first entering it from the lakeside, we're pretty far down uh, the landslide. And so the blocks have a lot of uh, disturbance to them. These, you, you can see these are tilting at maybe 30 degrees off to the west and then the bedrock dip around here is more like 10 degrees to the north. So it's not hard to imagine that these landslide features with these holes that you see around here will extend all the way down into the subsurface. This leads us to another unique aspect of Mountain Lake. The lake experiences a cycle of draining and refilling since its formation 6,000 years ago. And it's easy to imagine losing water out of features like this if, if we were below the water table. And periodically these conduits can become totally blocked with sediment, silt, vegetation. And when they're blocked and they're holding back more water than they're losing, then we have a lake. And if there are times when they're open up, when they do open up like this particular one right here, then uh, it's hard to keep water in the lake. There are several naturally forming pipes throughout the lake bed, which connect these conduits that are throughout the subsurface. In 2012, a dye tracer test was conducted to determine where this water was leading to. Unfortunately, the test was considered to have failed, as none of the tracer could be detected at any of the monitoring stations seen here. As you can see here, the lake has recently experienced an extended period of drainage. This has had a rather significant impact on the tourism of the area. response, a remediation project was undertaken in 2012 to preserve the lake. Local sediment was used in order to attempt to stop the drainage, and local groundwater was pumped into the lake to refill it to previous levels. Here is an image of the lake in 2005, before the most recent period of drainage. The second image was taken in 2015 by Google Earth, and can be used to monitor the progress of the lake. As you can see, the remediation attempts did not succeed. This is due to the constantly shifting sediment of the lake near the drain pipes. While the lake is currently at the lowest point it has been in years, it is only a matter of time before the conduits that cause this draining fill up again and allow Mountain Lake to fill up once more. Although we have been able to answer some of the questions on Mountain Lake, there is much more to be discovered in this area, and new studies are conducted year-round in hopes of finally understanding the mystery of Mountain Lake.